Many don't know the power of e-collars. So many e-collars on the market, but you have to spend money and get a good one. Dogtra is my favorite. Here I use for normal hair, short hair dogs and the long prongs have been changed for dogs with longer hair. As you can see, this e-collar controller has the color indication indicating the collar that I'll be using with Nick and Continuous. It has a rotary dial at the top so I can turn up the stimulation. Many misuse e-collars because they don't know how to use them. Plus, they don't put them on their dogs correctly. The proper way to put a e-collar on your dog's neck, it should be tight, high up on the neck. E-collars and pinch collars are great tools. However, the e-collar is for healing only and the e-collar can be used for just about everything. Let's go. I am a professional dog trainer, so I have a huge collection of e-collars. It is just almost impossible to proof a dog at long distance without these tools. The mini educator is also on the same level of dog tra for training my smaller dogs and it still has the same kind of power. So you can say I use it on my adult dogs too. You want the message to be very clear, so use a long line when you first start. I just want to control the dog and keep it where he don't run off if the dial is too high. Using the orange e-collar and the way to control your dog with e-collar. Wait! So see how he is waiting? Wait! Wait! So I hit the e-collar. So when you get a dog that don't listen to you or act like they don't hear you, the e-collar will get the dog's attention. When you first let your dog out his kennel, he's going to be wild. This is a good way to get their attention and establish that you're in control. Couché! So I didn't hit the e-collar because he was going in a down position. If he wasn't, then I'd hit that e-collar definitely get his attention and start listening to what I'm saying. So he's in a down position. Go. I send him across. So the e-collar e has a simulation dial on the top, rotary dial. And you can tell how much is too much for your dog when you're using it. I don't really want him to holler and yelp or anything. But I do want the dog to get a stimulation and know that my voice command has control. So this tool is to let your dog know your voice regulates and control everything. This is the proper way to use the e-collar. And there's an improper way to use it. So, I'm going to get the dog attention. And I'm going to tell him to do something. Then I'm going to show you a stimulation if he doesn't do it. Kodak! Ossie! Good boy. Kodak! Couché! So he didn't do it. Couché! That was a light stimulation. Kodak, I see. Good boy. Couché. Yeah. Every time my dog does something, I praise him and tell him, good boy for what he did. Many forget to do that. Don't get sloppy in your training. It's about connecting with your pet pal. It's about animal care and control. Now, let's do a heel with the dog. Four Pierre. I want to give him light stimulation if he get out of pocket. Now, I'm not requiring him to do a sports heel, but not to, not to just go off where he wants to go. Now, I said go, but I shouldn't have been using those words when y'all... Yeah! Up here!
That was the stimulation right there. Now, do not buy the cheap e-collars you see in the store. Training is about timing. When you hit the button, some of them may not work immediately. Some of them don't work at all. They have interferences between walls and trees. And it's very imperative if your dog's in trouble or about to do something bad that you get his attention and you stop him in his tracks. Only professional dog collars would do that. Only professional dog collars may save your dog's life. Good boy.